Anton LaVey, Satan's high priest or imposter. Anton Sizenzor LaVey was an American author, musician, and Satanist. He was the founder of the Church of Satan and the religion of Satanism. He authored several books, including the Satanic Bible, the Satanic Rituals, the Satanic Witch, the Devil's Notebook, and Satan Speaks. In addition, he released three albums, including The Satanic Mass, Satan Takes a Holiday, and Strange Music. He played a minor on-screen role and served as technical advisor for the 1975 film The Devil's Reign and served as host and narrator for Nick Bogus 1989 Mondo film Death Scenes. Historian of Satanism Gareth J. Medway described LeVay as a born showman, with anthropologist Jean LaFontaine describing him as a colorful figure of considerable personal magnetism. The academic scholars of Satanism, Per Faxnell and Jesper Agard Peterson, describe LeVay as the most iconic figure in the Satanic milieu. LeVay was labeled many things by journalists religious detractors, and Satanists alike, including the father of Satanism, the St. Paul of Satanism, the Black Pope, and the evilest man in the world. This video has been sponsored by Justin. Thank you, Justin, for sponsoring another video. Justin wants to know, all I want to know is the juicy slash scandalous shit or secret shit that he's into or that we don't know about. So Anton LaVey, he died October 29th, 1997. So he's no longer on this earth plane. So here he is with Sammy Davis Jr. and Michael Aquino. Now, Anton LaVey, he was more of the mainstream commercialized uh, brand of Satanism. But Michael Aquino on the left, he's an actual bona fide Satanist. So that's why I have a Satan's high priest or imposter for Anton LaVey. So let's get into his numerology. So his birth number is 11, and that 11 can produce internal and external conflicts involving home, family, mother, women, race, culture, and food. And it did look like he had the propensity to uh, put on excess weight. Being at odds with himself, that's very much the 11. Interference from third parties. Love triangles. His life path number is 28. That breaks down to 10 and further down to 1. Basically, with this, he will latch on to people's accomplishments and creations. Also pertains to children. And he had three children. Trust. Fame, celebrities. Here is Anton LaVey with Marilyn Manson, one of his devotees. And interestingly enough, Anton LaVey hated hard rock music. He hated heavy metal. So his ascendant is at the 23rd degree of Aquarius, and that 23rd degree can result in being highly favored, well read, and well traveled. Anthropologist Jean LaFontaine describing him as a colorful figure of considerable personal magnetism. That's very much dealing with that 23rd degree of Aquarius on the ascendant. Also, being Aquarius rising just makes him a rebel, naturally. And being odd, weird, and unconventional goes along with that Aquarius rising. Being liberated, being an atheist, a group creator and leader. Change the name from Howard Stanton LeVay to Anton Sazanzor LeVay. I'm not sure how to pronounce that middle name. Sazanzor. Nudity was a major theme. So he would have these satanic rituals where all the women were in the nude. As you can see right here. Well, this one is not, but obviously she was taking part of the ritual. So here's his chart right here. He's an Aquarius rising with Pisces intercepted in the first house. Mars and Pisces intercepted in the first. He has Uranus and Aries in the first, but it's conjoined to the second house cusp. 
Sun in Aries in the second, Mercury, North Node, Venus, and Chiron and Taurus in the second, Jupiter and Gemini in the fourth, Pluto in Cancer in the fifth, Neptune and Moon intercepted in Virgo in the seventh house, South Node in Scorpio in the eighth. He has a Sagittarius midheaven, which makes a lot of sense because Sagittarius rules religion. Saturn in Capricorn in the 11th. Black Moon Lilith in Aquarius in the 12th. Moon in Virgo, Quincunx Ascendant. So this is representing his attempts to strip away a woman's innocence or modesty. Some women were uncomfortable with being naked in front of everyone. That's what I'm proposing with this Quincunx. The rituals were a hodgepodge of different metaphysical disciplines. Changing up some of the rituals. Daughter disassociates herself from him, estrangement. So he has three kids, two uh, girls, one boy. And his oldest daughter, Zena, she basically disassociated herself from him once she found out that he was pretty much a fraud. So Zena, she ended up aligning herself with Michael Aquino. Michael Aquino used to be uh, some type of press secretary or something for Anton LaVey. I forgot what it was. But like I said, Michael Aquino is the real deal when it comes to Satanists, but Anton LaVey, not so much. So Anton LaVey's daughter, Zena, she ended up cutting ties with her father and she ended up going along with Michael Aquino, who was, again, the bona fide Satanist. He paid a great deal of lip service to personal freedom, yet as a leader, he micromanaged the lives of his followers. So again, with that Aquarius Ascendant, that's all about liberation. You know, liberation and freedom go hand in hand. But that moon in Virgo can cause him to micromanage people. Here he is right here. Look like holding some type of satanic book. Look like he's on the set of a movie. Here he is before he shaved his head bald. And like I uh, was saying, you could kind of tell that he has a propensity to put on weight. So he probably had to manage his food intake carefully so that he wouldn't get fat. And that's very much dealing with that 11 birth number. He was very much into big cats. And that deals with that Mars and Pisces in the first house. Neptune and Virgo opposition ascendant. Basically, this is representing Anton LaVey being in costume and the ceremonies, basically his fake persona. Represents his devotees and his indifference towards them. He could have been used as a tool or a pawn. Lying about details about his life, including working for a circus and being a photographer for the police to make himself seem more interesting. So he had said that he was working for a circus at one time and he was like a lion tamer and he had the lions under his control and also that he was a photographer for the police. Now, with him having Mars and Pisces intercepted in that first house, he could basically make up a lot of details about his life. His whole life could be pretty much a lie. Could have been an informant for the cops instead. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was taking place. Here he is right here. Uh, this is where he has shaved off all his hair. He has that iconic goatee, which looks very devilish, very Saturn and Capricorn. So Saturn is at the 11th degree of Capricorn in the 11th house. So Saturn is one of his chart rulers because Saturn rules Aquarius. Personifying the devil, that's basically what that's representing. But where he's conflicted about it, because remember I said that 11th degree can produce or just the 11 number. Here we have the 11th degree, which echoes his birth number. But I was saying that it produces internal and external conflict. So I really don't think he fully believed in what he was touting. He began a new calendar, making year one the same year his church was founded, which he referred to as the year of Satan, Anno Satanus. So basically him creating a new calendar, calendar deals with the measurement of time. That's very much dealing with Capricorn in the 11th house, him inventing a calendar. And Saturn and Capricorn rule time. In adopting Satanism as an ideology, 
LaVey proposed that rebellion in the face of despotism can be heroic. So that's very much dealing with Saturn at the 11th degree of Capricorn in the 11th house when you take his Aquarius ascendant into account. He also created 11 satanic rules of the earth. And actually, I was going to go through these rules. So let me pull them up real quick and I'll go through them. So I'm on the Church of Satan website, and here are the 11 Satanic Rules of the Earth by Anton Sizendor LaVey. Now that 11, again, corresponds to his 11 birth number, Saturn at the 11th degree, and he has Uranus at the 11th degree as well. Number one, do not give opinions or advice unless you are asked. Number two, do not tell your troubles to others unless you are sure they want to hear them. Number three, when in another's lair, show him respect or else do not go there. Number four, if a guest in your lair annoys you, treat him cruelly and without mercy. Number five, do not make sexual advances unless you are given the mating signal. Number six, do not take that which does not belong to you unless it is a burden to the other person and he cries out to be relieved. Number seven, acknowledge the power of magic if you have employed it successfully to obtain your desires. If you deny the power of magic after having called upon it with success, you will lose all you have obtained. Number eight, do not complain about anything to which you need not subject yourself. Number nine, do not harm little children. I find number nine to be interesting because he puts little children. He just, he didn't put children. He put little children. So I'm just like raising my eyebrow with that one. Number 10, do not kill non-human animals unless you are attacked or for your food. Number 11, when walking in open territory, bother no one. If someone bothers you, ask him to stop. If he does not stop, destroy him. So those are the satanic Rules of Earth by Anton LaVey. Here he is right here with all his satanic get up on with the pentagram necklace and the skull and all that with the red cloak, red and black cloak. Red and black are satanic colors for those who do not know. Venus and Chiron and Taurus trying Saturn and Capricorn. Basically, this is representing his odes to Satan and the albums he made, making dark music, or you could say making sata satanic music, espousing satanic values, basically being a satanic cult leader. This is satanic cult leader energy. You know, I talk about Taurus being the cult leader. Even though he's an Aries, he has a whole stellium in Taurus. His musical skills could have been a government asset. I wouldn't be surprised if he was. LeVay was conservative in his attitude to law and order and insisted that the church abide by state law in all of its actions. In early 1975, LeVay announced that higher degrees of initiation could be given in return for a financial contribution. And Anton LeVay later said when the police were investigating him, well, they really wasn't investigating him. They were like just questioning him. Um, he basically said that he started the Church of Satan basically to make money. So now, you know, he's selling higher degrees of initiation for a financial contribution. That's very much dealing with these trines. I don't know who this guy is on the right. Maybe that's his son. But you can really see, where's that picture at? You can really see the Saturn in Capricorn with Anton LaVey right here. He just has that satanic Capricorn devilish type of look. Saturn and Capricorn quincunx Jupiter and Gemini. Being a half-assed Satanist, again, he wasn't the real deal. Being under government control slash CIA experiment, perhaps. Now, he was part of the precursor to the whole satanic panic era, which took place in the 80s. Um, but before that, there was a strong growing culture of Satanism. 
that was permeating society. And you had a lot of movies coming out in the late 60s and 70s about Satan, the devil, uh, devil worshipers and all that. Now, we know, or at least some of y'all know, including myself, that there is a real thing such as Satanism, and there's different degrees of Satanism. Anton LaVey was promoting the watered-down version of Satanism for the most part. But true Satanists, you know, they're all into human sacrifice and all that dark shit. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was controlled by the government, he was a CIA project, because he had a lot of celebrities attracted to his Church of Satan. And when that's going on, sometimes it can mean that this person is a tool for the government. They're an asset for the government because this is how they can gain information on these celebrities. But it could have also been to water down, to provide a watered down version of Satanism to make people think, oh, Satanism is not a bad thing. Oh, it's just about principles. Also, this quincunx substantiates the claims that he was forced to write the Satanic Bible as a marketing tactic for Rosemary's baby with Saturn ruling the 12th house. So he had claimed that he was in uh, Rosemary's baby, that he played the role of the devil. If you never saw this movie, definitely watch it. It's a really good movie. It came out, I think, in 1969. But it's about this Satanic cult. And... In the uh, scene where Anton LaVey is supposedly in, he's playing the role of the devil that's impregnating Rosemary. But then it was later uh, found out that he had nothing to do with that film. I don't know. It's still up for debate. But some people claim that he was forced to write the Satanic Bible as a marketing tactic for Rosemary's Baby. And I believe the Satanic Bible and Rosemary Baby were released in the same year, 1969, if I'm not mistaken. Media attention followed the subsequent Satanic wedding ceremony of journalist John Raymond to New York City socialite Judith Case on February 1st, 1967. The Los Angeles Times and San Francisco Chronicle were among the newspapers that printed articles dubbing him the Black Pope. So this Jupiter Gemini is representing the media influence. She, Zena, remember I told you he had an oldest daughter named Zena, toured the U.S. promoting her father's work in his absence as he was no longer interested in making media appearances. So this is showing where he's basically dropping out of public view. He's tired of giving interviews to the media and then his daughter takes over. Here he is during one of his bogus satanic rituals. But when I say bogus, meaning his heart, I don't believe his heart was fully in it. And again, he later admitted that he did this all for money. But if you're invoking the name of Satan, that shit is real. Names have power. So you got to be careful what you do, even if you are doing it in a fraudulent way. And shit did get real at one point. And I'll get to that soon. Saturn and Capricorn opposition Pluto and Cancer could have been a government asset for psyops on the public, especially with him being connected with the Manson family, Roman Polanski, and others. So Susan Atkins, who was a member of the Manson family, she actually did a striptease routine for Anton LaVey. So I just find it really funny that Anton LaVey had connections to Charles Manson and his clan. And then again, he might have had connections with Roman Polanski through the movie Rosemary's Baby. The contrived assassination plot. So he was on the FBI list because someone, some informant was saying that, oh yeah, Anton LaVey is planning on assassinating Ted Kennedy. And nothing ever came of that. But that's another red flag that he has ties to the government, maybe the CIA in particular, because that's what happens when you are a CIA asset or you're a tool of them, a pawn of them. They will use people to uh, be the, what would you call that? To be the fall guy, to be the patsy for assassinations or um, mass killings and stuff like they did with Timothy McVeigh and many others. I believe Charles Manson was a patsy as well. 
Being under constant surveillance, the files outline a scheme that supposedly involved money, drugs, and the mob. And according to the informant, the ringleader, the man who allegedly wanted Ted Kennedy dead was none other than Anton LaVey. But later they, they discovered that this wasn't actually the case. But I wouldn't be surprised if the CIA was going to set Anton LaVey up to be the fall guy, but the plan fell through for whatever reason. In July 1984, Hegarty issued a restraining order against LaVey which he did not contest. So Hegarty, it was, I believe it was his wife, his ex-wife. And she ended up issuing a restraining order against him and that's dealing with this opposition. So here's the federal file on Anton LaVey, just to show you that he definitely was on the FBI list, which is in my opinion, a red flag. Here he is in all his satanic getup. And you could kind of tell that, like this, the person said in the beginning that he is a showman. And that's what he was basically doing. It was a bunch of pomp and circumstance, a bunch of ceremony. Uranus is his other chart ruler. It's at the 11th degree of Aries in the first house. So he has Saturn at the 11th degree. He has Uranus at the 11th degree and they're squaring each other. So that 11th degree is prominent in his chart and it echoes his birth number. 11th degree reinforcing the birth number. Much focus is placed on exalting the self with Uranus and Aries being one of his chart rulers, but where he is conflicted in himself. Being the founder and leader of a group on the fringes of society, wearing horns like a beast. Also, this reinforces his name change. Now, I'm like, look at this terry cloth costume. That looks so tacky. He couldn't do better than that. But anyway, like I said, this is all for show. He wasn't the real deal. Saturn and Capricorn squared Uranus and Aries. This shows that he wasn't a true Satanist. It was more about trying to be someone of a high stature, basically, and like about the glorification of the self. Didn't really have any friends, true friends, that is. Being on the FBI list for a plot to assassinate Senator Edward Kennedy. Bad skin acne. Shaving his hair off to create a new persona. So again, he had connections with Charles Manson. It says when Manson follower Susan Atkins danced topless for Church of Satan founder Anton LaVey. Then it says down here, the link is broken, but this was but this was ultimate, the downfall of the Church of Satan, the association with Charles Manson. So again, makes me really question how authentic Anton LaVey was and whether he was a tool of the government some type of black ops project. Uranus and Aries trying Sagittarius man heaven, inventing a religion. Uranus deals with inventions, Sagittarius religion, attracting a worldwide following, creating a sensation, Levian Satanism, the high priest of the church of Satan, basically. LeVay was directly responsible for the genesis of Satanism as a serious religious as opposed to a purely literary movement. Here he is right here on one of the talk shows, might have been Donahue, one of the Mike Douglas show, who knows. Uranus and Aries square Pluto and Cancer. Corruption. Infiltration. Being accused of being a fraud not operating of his own volition due to outside influences, mob ties, a cabal, serious conflicts with women, being sexist, self-loathing, racist. The FBI San Francisco office pulled records it had on LaVey dating back to the mid seventies when a tipster told the bureau that LaVey had purchased handguns, a shotgun and a rifle. Other files showed that LaVey had once supposedly been interested in joining the Nationalist Socialist White People's Party, which had been known in an earlier incarnation as the American 
Nazi party. So there's the racism right there. Could have sexually abused his daughter, exposing himself to her in the least. So yeah, with this Uranus, because Pluto is in the fifth house. So this is like some perhaps abuse going on with his daughter, but it also deals with her breaking ties with him as well. So estrangement from daughter. Also, he supported eugenics and believed that it would be a necessity in the future. Mars and Pisces intercepted in the first house. LeVay claimed he left high school at age 16 to join the Clyde Beatty Circus and later carnivals. First as a roustabout and a cage boy in an act with the big cats, then as a musician playing the Calliope. However, journalist Lawrence Wright investigated LeVay's background and found no evidence LeVay ever worked in a circus either as a musician or a cage boy. So that's the moon opposing Mars where somebody's checking into his background and they're determining that, oh yeah, he's been lying about some of this stuff. Here's the Church of Satan's headquarters in San Francisco. They have painted the house black. Moon and Virgo Quincunx Aquarius Ascendant. This can produce a home that deviates from the norm that is inconsistent with the rest of the homes on the block. A home that draws crowds. Moon opposition Mars and Pisces. Secret passageways in the home. As you can see right here, he's coming out of a secret passageway that is covered by a fireplace. Moon and Virgo opposition Mars and Pisces. In the winter of 1948, LeVay began to work as an organist in bars, lounges, and nightclubs. His genius on keyboards helped him attain gigs. While playing organ in Los Angeles burlesque houses, he allegedly had a brief affair with then unknown Marilyn Monroe when she was a dancer at the Mayan Theater. This is challenged by those who then knew Monroe, as well as the manager of the Mayan, Paul Valentine, who said she had never been one of his dancers, nor had the theater ever been used as a burlesque house. So this is another lie that was exposed. And remember I said that Mars and Pisces intercepted in the first house. He could be lying about a lot of details about his life. LeVay then attained a job as a photographer for the San Francisco Police Department. Later biographers question whether LeVay ever worked with the San Francisco Police Department as there are no records substantiating the claim. Wildly inconsistent in his views, this is dealing with the opposition as well. Destroying his daughter's innocence. He baptized her to Satan when she was a baby. And this baptism was reenacted on film. So this is dealing with this opposition as well, with the moon ruling that fifth house, fifth house is children. So here's another image of the house looking all tore up and broken down. But I guess that's very fitting for Satanists. Moon in Virgo, opposition Mars and Pisces. As she toured the United States on behalf of the Church of Satan, Zena's crisis of faith reached its high point when she learned that most of her father's self-created legend was based on lies and that many of his works were plagiarized. Again, the moon is ruling that fifth house, so that's representing his daughter, discovering that her father is a liar. But you know what they say, the devil is a liar. And then LeVay shares some surprising news with the agents. His role as the head of the church was all a charade. Pisces rules charades. Most of the church's followers, he said, were fanatics, cultists, and weirdos, the records show. His interest in the Church of Satan is strictly from a monetary point of view, the agents noted, and spends most of his time furnishing interviews, writing material, and lately has become interested in photography. The interesting thing is Pisces is very much related to Satanism, mainly due to the magic that goes with it, the spells, the ceremony, the costumes, and just, you know, the worshiping part. Despite what most people will 
humorously assume LaVey was very much opposed to drug use. And that's very much Moon and Virgo opposition, Mars and Pisces. Here's Xena, his daughter right here. She's been on a number of talk shows. Mars and Pisces trying Pluto and Cancer, being an influential cultural icon, purchasing the house that becomes iconic, good for casting spells, performing magic, Anton LaVey became a local celebrity in San Francisco through his paranormal research and live performances as an organist, including playing the Wurlitzer at the Lost Weekend Cocktail Lounge. So his musical talent comes through that Mars and Pisces, but also the Taurus energy. In front of cameras, he frequently assumed a seductive and enigmatic gaze. So that's dealing with this trying. Here he is right here, performing another satanic ritual. And again, like, he claimed he didn't believe in Satan as an actual figure. So I'm like, well, what's all this ceremony and rituals for? But he claimed it would help his devotees get more in touch with the philosophy of Satanism. Mars and Pisces, Sesqui Square, Scorpio, South Node. Of course, he would have a Scorpio, South Node. Semi Square, Taurus, North Node. Being a fraud in a number of ways. Some of his claims could not be verified. So the verification is coming through that Taurus, North Node. LeVay hated rock and metal music with or without satanic lyrics and often expresses distaste for it. Jupiter and Gemini sextile Uranus and Aries. Basically, this is representing Anton LaVey being an overnight sensation, receiving a lot of media attention as a result of his movement. His satanic Bible and other books result in gaining a following slash fan base. So Jupiter and Gemini is representing the media attention, but also the books that he's written. And with Jupiter and Gemini, it's a religious book. During this period, LaVey was friends with a number of writers associated with Weird Tales magazine, a picture of him with George Haas, Robert Balboa Johnson, and Clark Ashton Smith. Jupiter and Gemini opposing Sagittarius Midheaven, LaVey challenged Christian morality. The book's main thesis is that the poor and weak will disappear based on their biological inferi inferiority. So this quote right here is pertaining to a book that he plagiarized for his satanic Bible. So he was also a plagiarist. So let me just read this again. The book's main thesis is that the poor and weak will disappear based on their biological inferiority, asserting that the sooner they do, the better it will be for humanity. The book has strong classist and racist overtones. Red Bear also claims that slavery should be reinstated because inferior races cannot govern themselves. It also condemns miscegenation, which is race mixing. To his credit, however, LeVay removes some of the more offensive passages and there are no racist undertones in the Satanic Bible. That doesn't mean he didn't believe in it. Although it has been used by some neo-fascist groups that explicitly embrace racist ideologies. Incredibly, LeVay's The Satanic Bible has been reprinted over 30 times, has been translated into over a half a dozen languages, and has sold over 1 million copies since its first release. Here he is. I think that's Jane Mansfield. There's a crazy story about her. And I'll be talking about that briefly. Mars and Pisces square Jupiter and Gemini. Others have asserted that LaVey's The Satanic Bible was commissioned as a marketing ploy to increase publicity for Rosemary's Baby. In writing The Satanic Bible, he plagiarized Might is Right by an author under the pseudonym Ragnar Redbeard. So I had, I had just read about that on the previous slide. LaVey's plagiarism was extensive. So this square is dealing with his plagiarism. Also basically him lying about a lot of 
things. LaVey also plagiarized part of a text that was popularized by Aleister Crowley, known as the Enochian Keys. While LaVey did not believe in a literal Satan, he did perform pseudo-Satanic rituals. He viewed these performances as a form of catharsis or psychodrama therapy. He just liked to get dressed up <laughs> and um, put on a show, basically. Throughout his life, LaVey's relationship with magic and alchemy remained ambiguous. So on one hand, he's doing these rituals and he's claiming, even in the 11 satanic rules, that, you know, if you uh, perform magic, but if you don't believe in it, you'll lose everything. But on the other hand, he's basically saying, well, you know, Satan isn't real and this is just about the principles of Satanism and all that stuff. So it's like, well, what, what do you really believe, dude? This is him looking all doofy with the hair. Like he... He was taken much more seriously when he cut that hair off, I believe. But uh, yeah, he looked like a straight up nut right here. And you could tell like he looked like a fraud right here. Mars and Pisces squared Jupiter and Gemini more on this aspect. During one of his romantic affairs, LeVay developed an enmity with a man named Sam Brody. This is where Jamie Mansfield comes in because... Sam Brody was the partner of Jane Mansfield. Brody died in a traffic accident along with Jane Mansfield. However, LeVay insisted that it was his use of magic that hastened his death and brought on the fatal collision. Whether LeVay maintained his belief in the efficacy of magic is unclear. So basically, LeVay got into it with Jane Mansfield's partner. I think she was probably going to marry him eventually. And next thing you know, Sam Brody, Jane Mansfield, and another adult, they are killed in a car accident. And Anton LaVey is claiming that he did a spell to bring about that car accident, which I do believe. Either that or it could have been a mob hit because I'm believing that he could have had some mob ties as well. According to his family, Anton LaVey died on October 29, 1997 in St. Mary's Medical Center in San Francisco of pulmonary edema. So the pulmonary edema is represented by this square as well, with Gemini ruling the lungs. Mars and Pisces could deal with fluid, so fluid filling up the lungs, the swelling. Here he is right here, surrounded by his keyboards. Mercury, Venus, and North Node in Taurus, trying Neptune in Virgo. This quote deals with these trines. He released three albums, including The Satanic Mass, Satan Takes a Holiday, and Strange Music. He played a minor on-screen role and served as technical advisor for the 1975 film The Devil's Reign, and served as host and narrator for Nick Buga's 1989 Mondo film Death Scenes. Visual imagery utilized for emotional reaction is certainly the most important device incorporated in the practice of lesser magic. Anyone who is foolish enough to say looks don't mean a thing is indeed deluded. Good looks are unnecessary, but looks certainly are needed. South Node in Scorpio Sextal, Neptune in Virgo, musical and film collaborations, occult rituals, and this sextal is good for casting spells, especially through the use of black magic with the Scorpio South Node. So again, I'm thinking he did put a spell on dude and that's why he died in a car accident. But Jane Mansfield, his girlfriend, also died as well. He probably didn't uh, intend upon that. Also, this can represent mock sacrifices. Receiving donations in exchange for high positions. But when I talk about the spell, I don't think he did the spell himself if it did happen through a spell. I, I believe he got some witches to do it, the witches that were part of his church of Satan. Because I really don't believe he was about that life in terms of actually doing the spells and stuff himself. I wouldn't be surprised if he enlisted the help of some witches. Here's Jane Mansfield right here taking part in one of his rituals. She was a big time floozy. 
and called uh, women who were whorish back in the day floozies. And Marilyn Monroe could not stand Jane, Jane Mansfield. I need to just do a reading on Jane Mansfield because her life was very interesting. She would flash her breasts to men. I mean, not men, to the uh, paparazzi. She did have moon in Aquarius. But uh, yeah, I forgot what I was going to say about Jane Mansfield. But Neptune and Virgo, semi-square Pluto and Cancer. This can represent the spell that results in unintended casualty of lover Jane Mansfield. Here he is right here. The gold shirt on. <laughs> I had to include a picture of Andrew Tate because I'm like, Andrew Tate, he's the modern day version of Anton LaVey, if you ask me. Both of them are frauds. But it, the similarity in terms of the facial features is striking. Look at this. I mean, Andrew Tate could be Anton LaVey's son. Now, I don't believe that, but I'm just saying, I think that's just funny. So I actually found this picture when I was Googling Anton LaVey and somebody had put uh, <laughs> Andrew Tate next to Anton LaVey. And I was like, yo, they got a point. But yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Mercury, Venus, and North Node opposition Scorpio South Node, naturally prone to be corrupt in terms of values, indecency, demonic possession slash influences. And this is shown where he straddled the fence between being a conformist and a badass. There goes the neighborhood being hated by his neighbors with Mercury in the mix. Mercury rules neighbors. Mainstreaming the dark side through being a media darling. He was also a publicly noticeable figure. He drove a coroner's van around town. Again, he was just all about showmanship and portraying this role of some type of, you know, dark uh, being a satanic high priest, but he wasn't the real deal. Research Michael Aquino. I might do a reading on him. He's the real deal. As well as a lot of the elite. Sun and Aries, square Pluto and Cancer. Now, this square is responsible for a lot of the problems in Anton LaVey's life. Um, this is one of the worst squares to have in a natal chart. On May 23rd, 1967, three-year-old Zena had the first and most highly publicized satanic baptism in history performed by her father. So Sun, square Pluto can play out as the corruption of youth. So this is basically him corrupting his daughter from a very early age. She, Zena, resigned her position in 1990, severed ties with her father and renounced Levian Satanism. So this also deals with her severing ties with her father. Anton LaVey biographer Burton H. Wolf described a 13-year-old Zena in his introduction to her father's The Satanic Bible as Zena remembered by people who saw the famous photo of the Satanic Church baptism as a tiny top, but now a gorgeously developed teenager attracting a growing pack of wolves, human male variety. I wouldn't be surprised if Anton LaVey pimped his own daughter out to some of his members including Michael Aquino. In an interview with the Guardsman, she described becoming a mother at the age of 14 while living in a stifling, dysfunctional family life. She traces the lineage of her magical art to the mentorship of her godfather, filmmaker Kenneth Anger. That's another dark side, an evil motherfucker. Uh, I should do a reading on him. During the 1960s and 1970s, Anger transmitted the influences of Curtis Harrington, John C Cocteau, and Maya Darren on his own work to Xena during her childhood and adolescence. So I wouldn't be surprised if Kenneth Anger was molesting or even doing worse with Xena when she was young. And Sun Square Pluto can deal with the abuse of a child. As a female black magician, there is a wealth of feminine dark deities. I draw from including the Indian Kali, the Babylonian Tiamat and Lilith, the Nordic goddess Hell and many others. So that's a quote from Xena. Sun and Aries square Pluto and Cancer. 
When jealousy and spite motivated Anton LaVey and his administrator, Densley Barton, to actually endanger Zena's life, she could no longer continue to cover up her progenitor's true character and good conscience. This behind-the-scenes tension should be kept in mind when viewing or hearing Zena's interviews from that time. So it sounds like Anton LaVey set out to delete his own daughter. This square also pertains to the death of that man, Brody, through that car accident um, that he claimed, you know, he cast a spell. And next thing you know, dude is dying in a car accident because sun and Aries square Pluto and cancer can deal with the death or murder of a man. In a December 30th, 1990 open letter to Michael A. Aquino of the Temple of Set, she stated, in light of all the uh, all the factors herein, I also officially severed my given surname, LaVey, and now prefer to be known as, only as Zena, as I feel naturally aristocratic. I also have no need for the empty titles of magistra or high priestess that have been bandied about and fought over. So Sun and Aries deals with a child's name. So his daughter, Zena, dropping that last name, LaVey. Since then, she does not accept correspondence addressed to Zena LaVey, Zena LaVey Shrek, or any variant using the name LaVey. So uh, Zena LaVey, she married the Satanist guy named Nicholas Shrek, but they uh, have been divorced for some time now. But that's where you're seeing the Shrek. Here she is on one of the talk shows. This might have been Sally Jesse Raphael. Remember that show? Also, more about this square. LeVay had no arrest history, but he'd been linked to a tragedy once before. His relationship with Mansfield had reportedly ended with LeVay's putting a curse on Sam Brody, the actress, attorney, and boyfriend, promising that he'd die in a car crash. So there it is right there. In 1967, not long after the hex was supposedly cast, Brody and Mansfield were killed in a wreck on a highway near New Orleans. The improbable implication that LeVay inadvertently caused Mansfield's death persisted long enough to fuel a 2017 documentary, Mansfield 6667. In truth, LeVay did not have magical powers, which I agree, but I think, like I said, he had some witches do that uh, spell. Like the real satanic witches. Here's Zena performing some type of occult ritual. All right, so let's get into his asteroids. So he has some parallel Icarus. And Icarus can deal with where you are reckless or where you're causing destruction. And it could be due to overconfidence. It could be due to a lack of experience. But sometimes it could just deal with car accidents. So some parallel Icarus, basically Anton LaVey taking credit for the accidental death of Brody, his enemy. Sun contra parallel Juno, getting into it with a man over his partner. Sun conjunct Nessus. This part is really interesting. Wait till I get to the next. I think it's in the next slide. But keep this one in mind. Sun conjunct Nessus being a villain. Sexual assault against a minor. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Maybe, you know, could have been a teenage girl. Because, you know, there was a lot of people going through that Church of Satan house. And I'm sure they weren't checking IDs. And I'm sure Anton LaVey probably didn't care about, you know, whether someone was of age or not. Especially back then. Moon Contra Parallel Valentine. Casting a spell on a lover's lover. With Valentine being at the 27th degree of Pisces. Oh, before I forget, just to let you know, the moon in Virgo in his chart is representing his rituals, especially with the women being involved in the rituals. Chiron opposition Circe. This is another aspect that could deal with spells, curses, and hexes. Here's his album, Satanic Mass. Mars opposition Atlantis, threatening his girlfriend's man with retribution. Casting a spell upon the man led to his demise. Saturn opposition de Janeiro. This is the one I'm talking about. When I saw this shit, I was like, yo, this shit is crazy. You can't make this stuff up. So remember, Anton LaVey has sun 
conjunct nesses. Wait a minute, is it conjunct or parallel? Let me go back. So it's conjoined to nesses. Very telling. Because nesses represents the bad guy. Nesses can be a murderer, a rapist, basically the villain. So he has Saturn opposition de genera. So this is where art imitates life. Jane Mansfield played the role of De Janeiro in a movie, The Loves of Hercules. So basically, De Janeiro, in terms of Greek mythology, was the wife of Hercules. And she inadvertently killed him by giving him the shirt or the apron of Nessus. And that shirt was poison. There was poison on it. So when she gave it to Hercules, she ended up killing him by mistake. Do you see where I'm going with this? Brody, her partner at the time, ended up dying because he was associated with her. Him and Anton LaVey got into a beef. Next thing you know, both are dying in this car accident, Jane Mansfield and Brody. De Janeiro is known as the husband killer. So while Brody wasn't her husband, he was her partner. That still applies. And remember I said in the myth of De Janeiro, she gives... Hercules, the apron or the shirt of Nessus. Nessus is represented in, in uh, Anton LaVey's chart as him, like at Anton LaVey, basically. So Anton LaVey playing the role of Nessus in real life. De Janeiro is Jane Mansfield. I just thought that was like crazy. And then Hercules would be represented by Brody. Another rumor followed on the heels of Mansfield's alleged beheading. Gossip Hound said that the starlet, who had been in a relationship with Church of Satan founder Anton LaVey, was killed by a curse LaVey put on her boyfriend Brody. So, of course, she didn't want Brody to die. So, again, just like in the myth, it was an accidental death. Venus Contraparallel Hera. Hera is an asteroid that deals with jealousy, vindictiveness, jealous partners, wife, revenge plot. Venus conjunct palace. This is representing Anton LaVey using women as his props for his programs. So here he is with Jane Mansfield right here. And again, she died in that car accident with Brody after that curse. Uranus contra parallel Hebe. Perverted acts towards children in the name of his religion could represent his friendship to Michael A. Aquino because Michael Aquino is a pedo. Uranus conjunct Persephone. Rape, kidnapping, a friend or associate. So this can represent Michael Aquino as well. Uranus conjunct Psyche. Wounding a friend. In this case, Jane Mansfield. Gaining insight into one Psyche. Uranus contra parallel Valentine, serious upsets with love affairs. Again, here he is. I had already showed this, but I'm posting it again because I want y'all to look at this Michael A. Aquino. He's the real deal again when it comes to Satanists. Anton LaVey, he was more so on the showmanship side of it, more so clownish with it. Even though Michael Aquino, he looked like a clown too, but he's the real deal, like human sacrifice, uh, SRA, if you know what that stands for, all that satanic ritual abuse. I believe that's Xena, this little child right here. But again, remember, Sun Square Pluto, corruption of a minor. Neptune conjunct Apollo. This is representing his musical talents. Neptune contra parallel folets. The lid is blown off with respect to his lies. North Node parallel Achilles. His daughter, Xena, is his Achilles heel. And Achilles is at the 18th degree of Leo. Leo deals with children. Pluto conjunct Proserpina. This could play out as rape, kidnapping. Could have been part of a child sex ring with Pluto in the fifth house. Could have been pimping his daughter out, like I suggested. Maybe to Kenneth Anger, her uh, godfather, and Michael Aquino. I wouldn't be surprised. And maybe that's part of the real reason why... Uh, Zena don't want nothing to do with her father. All right, let's get into some of his fixed stars. Ascendant parallel Zarak, melancholy, fear of death, and suicidal tendencies. Ascendant conjunct Sador, 
part of the Christian cross and he was using upside down crosses in his whole uh, repertoire. Words of command, gathering a wealth, a hidden God, the arts, communication with birds. He probably had a few crows for pets. Sun Kajung Bat and Coyotes. Isolation, depression, accidents. Moon Kajunk Labrun. Labrun deals with honors, riches, ambition, psychic, chronic illness, dishonest income. Mercury Kajunk Mira. Failures, fiascos, enmity, melancholy, suicide. Mercury and North Node parallel Ras al Hag. Trouble with women, perverted taste, drugs, poisoning, hallucination, medicines, infections, mystical healing. Here he is with one of his pet lions. No, I don't think that was his pet. He was probably at the zoo that day. But you see how he got that animal print? What is that, a shirt he got on? That's that Scorpio South Node all day. Scorpio loves that animal print. Venus conjunct Hamal. Hamal is a star that can play out as violence, cruelty, brutality, and healers. Venus conjunct Shadir. Astrology, mysticism, writing. Mars parallel Cursa. Jupiter conjunct Cursa. Cursa deals with currents of fate, fluctuating emotions, irreversible changes to the rhythm of life, and a sense of oblivion. I wouldn't be surprised if he did experience that sense of oblivion with his Mars intercepted in Pisces. Jupiter parallel with Sot, Pluto conjunct with Sot. With Sot deals with chemicals, poisons, gas, violence, malevolence, destructiveness as a first principle, pessimism, clear authoritative speech, prominence in public affairs. Now, what was crazy is the chemicals part, especially with Jupiter being in Gemini. Gemini rules cars. So when uh, Jane Mansfield and Brody, Brody was the one driving, I believe, got into that car accident, they crashed in the back of a semi truck. And the reason why they crashed was there was this utility truck that was close by and it was spraying, uh, what would you call that, bug spray. It was like a pest control service. And it created this cloud. And that's why they couldn't see where they were going. And they slammed in the back of a semi truck. So the chemicals, the poison, is very much dealing with that car accident. So on one hand, I was thinking, man, maybe it was a mob hit instead. Because that sounds like something the mob would do to create a car accident. But then again, it could have been an actual curse where some, you know, curses can end up where it's some freaky circumstance that results in the destruction of a person. Either way, I will say, yeah, Anton LaVey was responsible for the death of Brody and Jane Mansfield. So Wasa also deals with malevolence, destructiveness as a first principle, pessimism, clear authority of speech, prominence in public affairs. Here he is right here, kind of looking um, all dressed up in Nazi regalia with that uh, hat. Look at that uh, medallion right there. That look like Mars Aries energy. Saturn parallel Nunky. Truthfulness, optimism, religious mind, oratory, fond of travel, authority on business, state and foreign affairs. Saturn conjunct Acela. Acela deals with good fortune, lasting happiness, valuable gifts, love of women, burning, and poison. Uranus conjunct Alderman. Alderman deals with gravity, sternness, judgment, severe trials, poetry, and drama. Witches are rising. Chiron conjunct Menkar. Minkar can play out as disease, throat trouble, disgrace, ruin, injury from beasts, which he would put his, uh, he would put himself at risk for injury from beasts, messing around with those lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Unjustified enmity, sudden emergence of deep unconscious issues. This star can be indicative of severe mental health issues, which I wouldn't be surprised if he had. North Node conjunct Sheraton. Violence, defeat, accidents, injury, danger, honors. Midheaven conjunct Awaii, criminality. 
Here he is with two of his devotees. All right, let's talk about his Arabic parts. He don't have many of them. Saturn could join to the Arabic part of understanding, gaining an understanding of Satanism. This quote right here pertains to this conjunction as well. In 1969, LeVay published the Satanic Bible for his followers to truly understand the Church of Satan and its goals. The church maintains this policy announcement was designed to clean house some members who didn't understand Satanic philosophy. Mercury conjunct part of sickness. This is representing the disorder of the lungs that he had, and he died of pulmonary edema. Also, this could pertain to mental illness as well, with Mercury ruling the mind. So that concludes my video on Anton LaVey. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thank you again, Justin, for sponsoring this video. If you would like to sponsor a video, just send me an email. My email address is in the description section of this video. If you would like a reading, you could go to my website. The uh, link is in the description section. Stay tuned. I'll be back with some more videos.